thanks Inspiration Quarters for reaching out. My name's Harvey and I'm the co-founder of Whiskey Club UK. What motivated me to get into the whiskey industry? I think I'd have to say it started during lockdown. I was taking part in online whiskey tastings. I was getting involved in group chats where we were sharing samples with each other. We were buying and collecting different bottles and we were also talking about cask investing as well. So from there it snowballed. I wanted to get more and more involved. I was loving it. It was really exciting. I'd, I'd never really explored how much there is to know about whiskey. So I was just super keen to, to learn and get involved in it. What excites me most about the whiskey industry? I think you're gonna have to let me give you two answers for that. Number one, I would say the people. I've met just some incredible people. I've met friends for life. I've met people that have told me some of the most incredible stories, some amazing facts. And I think it's a, it's a great icebreaker. It's loads of nice, great people sharing a common interest. There really is, there's, there's people at every single level in the whiskey industry and, and I love it. I love that part of it. The second part of my answer is the unlimited amount of options. I think there's so, so many options in the whiskey industry that it excites me. I feel like there's not enough days in or hours in the week to explore all the options in the industry. And I mean that in lots of different ways. I think touching back on the people, there's so many people that I'd like to meet. There's so many whiskies that I'd like to try. I think there's always a bottle to chase. There's always a unicorn to try and find. There's always a, a cheap new drinker and there's a super expensive one that you dream of trying one day. All that sort of stuff excites me. How has the use of social media impacted our business? Massively. Without social media, there would be no whiskey club. And I think social media can, it can be seen as a, a negative place However, within the whiskey club community, I've I've never I've never seen such a great community or group of people online before. I have met some amazing people that we would never ever have been able to engage with if it wasn't for social media. Just scrolling through, people have seen our adverts or they've jumped on our live streams, and from there it's just bang 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 um, conversations, sharing knowledge. People are often telling me different whiskies to try. Sometimes it's great, but it can be it can be costly. Um, there's always another whiskey to add to the list. But yeah, I think social media has been amazing. A really, really great tool. And again, guys like yourself reaching out, let's um, let's work together. What is, what can we do together? Yeah, social media is great for that sort of thing. And also we started the podcast, Talk Juice podcast. And I think it goes without saying, a podcast and social media go hand in hand. What's in the pipeline for Whiskey Club? There's a lot. I don't want to give too much away. Over the last couple of months, we just launched Talk Juice Podcast, which is separate from Whiskey Club, but it's sharing conversations with really interesting people over a glass of whiskey. We've also got some incredible prizes. I think a goal and a dream for us has always been to really change someone's life with a prize. And I think we're on the right trajectory to get there. I think we're building up to some incredible life-changing prizes, so I'm really looking forward to that. What advice would I give to someone looking to get into business? I'd have to say, from my experience, it's find something that you're passionate about. I've created side hustles before. I've created uh, what I thought was going to be an incredible idea, but I've ran out of steam with them because I wasn't passionate enough about it. I think in business, if you're passionate and you love it, then, then go for it.